My name is Larry Gaines. I'm from Stockton, California, born and raised. I'm retired at age 54, learned how to fly at 41, and flying is what life is about. My father flew B-17s in World War II. When the war was over, he and his brother, who was also an Army Air Corps pilot, had a series of small airplanes when I was a kid, and I can't remember when I didn't want to learn to fly. I've wanted to fly since I was a little boy, having flown with my father, and everybody in the family knew it, and most particularly my youngest brother, David. And in 1994, for Christmas, he gave me this watch, which has on its face the depiction of an aircraft attitude indicator. And the card that came with it said, time flies, you open it up, why the F don't you? <laughs> In 1998, I wanted to fly to Oshkosh and I wanted to bring my brother David with me. We landed at Oshkosh, we're pitching our tent, and the Bonanzas to Oshkosh group all rumbled in and parked right next to us. Their leader and founder, Wayne Collins, came over and made a couple snide remarks about the Musketeer, because it's quite a bit slower airplane than a Bonanza, and he invited us to their party. Unfortunately, my brother David was killed the following year. He was murdered defending my father in a robbery in June of 1999, my oldest brother came to me and said, and by then I was flying the Bonanza, asked me if I was gonna go to Oshkosh again, and I said I wasn't sure, and he said, well, if you do, I wanna go with you. I wanna do what you and David did last year. So I decided we're going to Oshkosh. We flew the regular arrival into Oshkosh. We were parked in the exact same spot, and just like the year before, as we're pitching our tent, the Bonanza group arrived, and Wayne walked over. He remembered me. He pointed at the Bonanza, and he cracked a smile, and he said, I see you got a real airplane, and he invited us to the party again. So I decided that for the year 2000 that I was going to get the training, and I was going to fly in with the group, and I have flown with Bonanza's to Oshkosh every year since. In 2007, I was asked to succeed the man who was leading it then, who had succeeded Wayne, and I've been in charge of it since 2007. When Aspen first came out with their product, it was like everybody in the general aviation world is drooling. This $10,000 unit replaced instruments that cost three and $4,000 to have overhauled. So I wrote a letter to John Uzakai, the CEO of Aspen, and I made the case why it was in his company's best interest to give us one of their units for our raffle. And he wrote back, he said, your argument is absolutely compelling. We'll donate one every other year. And um, what happened is they started showing up in Bonanzas. I've been asked by people whether flying is dangerous. And well, everything has got risks associated with it. You train, you have good equipment in your airplane that's reliable, and you limit your risks to manageable risks. My flying, for the most part, is VFR flying. And when the autopilot is hooked up to the Aspen unit, instrument flying will become much, much less work and much safer. You're gonna see my instrument panel. It was built by Airtronics up in Jackson, and it is fabulous. The key piece of equipment in it is the Aspen PFD. It's all electronic. There are no gyros to break. The failure rate is nearly zero. The display is crisp and clean. The display can be seen by the co-pilot at an angle. So it's just a well thought out piece of equipment. And as the mandate for ADSB nears, the Aspen is gonna be even more valuable because it displays all the information that pilots get through the ADSB system. My favorite thing about flying is freedom. I go places where I wanna go. I don't have to take off my belt and shoes. And I've seen some things from the air that are just breathtaking that other people have never seen. It's such a beautiful world and you get to see so much more of it from altitude.